Oh, hi. It's it's Helen Bauer interrupting, uh, realistically, myself. Um, I'm so excited because I am going on my second ever tour with my new show, Grand Supreme Darling Princess. I'm going all over the UK and a bit of Ireland and a bit of Europe. So please come and see me. All the dates are on my website. I'm going to Oxford. I'm going to Poole. I'm going to Paris. I'm going to Cork. I'm going to Dublin. I'm going to Belfast. I'm going to Edinburgh. I'm going to Glasgow. I'm going to Aldershot. So please come and join me if I'm in a town near you. Can't wait to see you soon. Bye! Through the fog, step forth the trusty hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they won't, and that's your problem. They'll have guests and Andrew White on the tech. As the trusty hogs trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. Hello! It's episode 87! Oh my god, you're back two weeks and you're already speaking over me. <laughs> Welcome to episode 87 of Trusty Hogs. I'm Catherine Bohart. I'm Helen Bauer. And this is a podcast where we tell you all about our lives mm-hmm. and we also listen to your problems and help oh. you solve them with a tremendous famous comedian as our guest. A famous comedian, and also I don't think we even try and solve the problems anymore. I'm kind hey of now. I am done with everyone's drama. Hang on, you never tried to help. I, I am have always n- tried to help and remain trying to help. I am Zen now. I am officially Zen. Stop with the beach girl bullshit. If you I have can't. problems, you can bring them to me, but only you can solve them because only you know why you haven't done it As so far. If Andrew's going to tell us one intriguing thing and you'll have so many opinions. Let's please. just be the change we want to see. And welcome to Trusty Hearts. Hi, <laughs> Helen, I have a new obsession. Okay, can I guess? No. What? Funerals, Irish funerals, no, weddings, no. Irish weddings, Pilates, Botox. Hair volumizing spray. Okay, first of all, fuck you. <laughs> you cheated because I told you about those things beforehand. And I did find an amazing hair volumizer spray. It's called Apre Sex and it's not that expensive in boots. But Secondly, why have we named a hair volumizing spray? That's not my obsession. Apre that's not my sex. Oh, because he's a gay fabulous man and he does the Kardashians no, hair and I, he needs to be like catchy and cute. I feel like I'm like a Daily Mail reader from like the noughties when they were like, put the magazines with the girls tits out on the top fl- on the top shelf Sorry, so like- no one can reach it. <laughs> Why are we selling at Prey, at Prey Sex in, in boots? Can you chill There's out? kids in there. I thought you said you were zen. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer pretend zen, Helen. Okay, so, um, no, my new obsession is not although I do still love Pilates and oh my God, today I'm dressed in my Pilates gear. Don't Boo. I look so professional? Boo. Like, yeah, I could go. I mean, I probably won't, but I dressed for it and that's almost the same. Okay. Um, the, no, my new obsession is medjool dates. Okay, babe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've been watching Instagram. You've heard of it. You've been watching Instagram. Mm-hmm. Okay. I've been watching Instagram <laughs> and they keep making those peanut butter chocolate <gasps> dates that you... are like mini Snickers and I made them. But you... I told you about this and you were so angry. I don't remember that. And oh, they were okay. someone delicious. Someone will remember the episode. Someone. They were delicious. I made them. They were so good. But it's not a Snickers bar. It is like a Snickers bar, but it's not the same. You're right. You're right. But what I, fe- what I found makes the difference is put a little bit of cr- crushed salted peanuts in there as well. Then you get the bite, which is what you're missing fundamentally. <laughs> and then I did savory ones. Wait, wait. So you take them a jewel date and then you put, what, like parma ham on it? Uh, no, well, I don't eat meat. So yeah, no. we don't eat meat either. Okay. No, I do. It feels like you're um, Projecting. angry. I don't know what's um, happening. No, you can do like a cream cheese with lots of herbs. And then also maybe like a, if you want, you can do a knot. Oh, that sounds good. It's delicious. I did it with pecans, cream cheese, honey, and... Um, <gasps> And what? Not that. Not fennel. But um, what's the other one that looks a bit? Celeriac. Like no, 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 no. It's a herb. Rocket. It'll come to me. It'll come to fennel. me. Fennel. No. Parsnip. But, no, no. Parsley. Pa- have you ever basil. heard of her? <laughs> yes. So it's thyme, basil. I'll send you the recipe. On, okay, on, rosemary. I'll send it to you on Instagram. It had rosemary <laughs> and thyme. I'll send it to you on Instagram. Oh my God, so cute and fun. No, Although I just... showed me my mother how to do that where you send a message on Instagram and now she keeps sending me instructions on how to make my own candles and I don't make candles. <gasps> I went through a candle making phase. I'll put her in touch with you. Do you want to make candles together? No. Oh my god. Unless we go to a professional place. No, I'm, I'm professional. I've got a um. No. A pot. I. That I mean, heat the wax in. Like a on a stove. Pot. No, it's like a metal beaker. Oh okay. 
okay because I do have some old candles that could be melted down and then made into something cute with dead flowers yeah come over come over I it's genuinely would be up for that so much fun it feels so good like the only anyway, thing is, is where'd like, you buy a wick honey I've got a whole stash ready to go I mean I bought them like during lockdown this during my candle making phase genuinely one of the first things you suggested to me where we hang out and I actually want to do it you had a lovely coffee with me this morning. Oh, no, that was gorgeous, but I just... Are you serious? Did you not enjoy our coffee? No, I love a coffee. I just mean usually you're like, let's go to SeaWorld. Let's go to Shrekland. Let's go to Mickey Mouse's, like, asshole. I'm like, what I don't want... I don't... I don't oh, know. my God, let's go. I don't know, but if that Andrew, was... are you enchanted? <laughs> I'm enchanted. You would be at that opening, and I do mean opening. My point is, <laughs> I'd, I'd love to make candles with you, actually. Do it. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, let me check my diary. Probably gigging, but okay. I well, I'm free. I'm okay, free. Great, let's do it. Oh my god, heaven! I actually really love that. And then we can um, watch like a TV show or something together as well. Speaking of, I also have a new obsession. No, no, I have another no, new obsession. I have no, a new, no, I have I do. one. Jewish matchmaking. Jewish matchmaking. Jewish matchmaking. It's Jewish matchmaking. It's Jewish matchmaking. I do want to hear about Jewish matchmaking. Yes. Did we? Okay. Yes. I sorry for screaming. Sorry for screaming. Is it like India matchmaker? Um, it's. A no, because show. the thing is, in India, they are trying to pretend mm. that their um, racism and classism mm. is just tradition. Okay. Um, and sort of, it's under the, it's, it's just unspoken. Okay. Whereas the Jewish matchmaker, they're like, I won't date fat girls. I won't date curly haired girls. I won't <gasps> date, I, all the girls I want to date are, have to have blue eyes. All of them have to have blonde what? hair. But they also have to be Jewish. They have to be Israeli. They have to be, and you're like, holy shit balls. This is crazy. Wow. Yeah. And also, everyone's just like, I guess we just sit down with our moms. And also, this really adorable couple that I thought were perfect for each other didn't get together because she's more religious than him. Oh, And I was like, on. girl, you're missing out on joy. You're missing out on... It made me sad. It made me deeply sad. But do they, fi- do they find good partners for each other? Is there love on it? It's unclear that that's the case. But honestly, there wasn't enough of a like follow-up. Here's these people are together... You know what I mean? You have to do the deep dive on Instagram I'm, yourself. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm willing to scope. I, listen, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting. I thought it was insightful. I actually like the matchmaker on it much more yeah. because she's really like, I mean, she sells a lie. She sells okay. a lie hard. There's like a 45 year old woman and she's like, you still have time to have the babies with your husband. And you're like, she doesn't. <laughs> no, there's there's like articles because I think I've been thinking no, about age. No, we've got to stop. No, some... there are no. women and they're like no. 70 no. and they're popping out triplets. Hear me, no, hear me out. Look, obviously we can go later and later now than we've ever been able yes, to. But, but yes. what we have to stop saying is I've been watching the new series of Queer Eye. Yes. And these five men, yes. well, four men and a, and a non-binary person yeah. keep being like, it's never too late, honey. And it's like, like, that's not true for women. No, it's you, never too like, late. No, it it's is. It's never, Andrew, it isn't. That marriage is a little unhealthy because it's like, I'm not saying that, like, you should have them when you're not ready. I'm just saying, like, it might have to be a different way to have a family. It can't necessarily yeah. be that you just get pregnant with the because you're in love. <sighs> Do you know that's what I mean? how I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a family when I'm 70. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh okay. So, do you recommend Jewish Matchmaker? Because I oh, do get addicted to these shows. Strong recommend. I watched it all in two days. Do Loved. They do weddings? Because my favorite wedding I've ever been to is a Jewish wedding. It's they ha- so they fun. Did, but they got to they they obviously explained a lot about the wedding yeah, and course. a lot about the culture. They went with like really orthodox people, and then really unorthodox people. It was uh-huh. really interesting. Um, but yeah, it's just really sweet, and I think you should watch it. But also <gasps> like super problematic. Let's be clear. But also, I was into it. Oh, in any wedding, like forget the culture. But they're, they're all problematic because you are like binding yourself contractually to someone. One, yeah. And the idea is usually that the other person owns you. But we're getting better. You and know? the suggestion is that like in order to complete one's life, you must find another person who is destined for you. Which is true. And it lest we true. forget. And we found lest each we other. forget. No, we're halves. What? But you know, you're a whole because you've got Ellen. So you've got a partner that loves you and you love back. I'm a shell of a woman. Oh god, that's with so nothing tough. else going on for me. So you think if Ellen and I just keep having sex, we'll have a baby? Oh my god! Could you imagine how sick that would be? Wouldn't it be so cool? Like how your curly body, haired would that baby be? Wait a second, your body just sort of like evolves so that you guys can create a baby. Talking That'd about bodies cool. evolving, has anyone seen the power on Amazon? Oh, for God! Yes, <laughs> that was so good. That was so well done. Did you see? Like, yes. I mean, if you don't know what the power is, you'd can be I, like, "What the hell was that can segue?" I, say, I read the book. Didn't love the book. You are but wrong. the book wasn't great. I'm sorry, in my opinion, but. 
But when I read the book, I remember thinking, this could be a sick series. Mm -hmm. And then Tony Collette was fronting the series, and I was like, you had me a Tony, baby. I, I, love, I love her. No, but I, no, you, no, you I love think her. you love her. No, you I think love you love her. her. Me and Tony go so far back as actually mental. Oh, God, is this going to be a musical like, thing? Like, so, no, no, no. Muriel's wedding. You think you're the only one in this room who's seen, who's seen Muriel's well, wedding? No, Andrew's gay. I assume Andrew knows it back to front. I'm like, also gay, and I've I know, seen but it. Andrew's that sort of gay. You know, there's different gays. No? Like gay men, Andrew, Muriel's, have you seen wedding. Muriel's wedding. No, because he's twelve. Gay women, QI. I don't know. Am I right? He <laughs> yeah, hasn't yeah. fucking seen I've it. I've not seen it. He hasn't I'm seen so it. No, I'm sorry. Fuck Helen. you. I'm Helen, old, old baby. Gay. It's lavender. That's a reference <laughs> to Angels in America by Tony Kushner. Very good. Very that was very good. well done. That's a play. You're welcome, world. I have seen that. Yeah, of course you have. Well, yeah. <laughs> what was that? Did I just click? You did. did I just click? You for just you? clicked. We're rubbing off on you. What am I doing? Because you love You've us. You've never done that. Like what? I, I I do actually sometimes do. I that, click all more... the time. Sorry. I, oh. I do. I've been copying my boyfriend. He's a big. Is he a clicker? Yeah. Oh my god, your boyfriend has such a click energy. Your boyfriend has real spoken word energy. Don't you think? <laughs> Don't you think? He like he ha he wears the clothes. He has the gorgeous serious pouch. He looks like he clicks. He has serious spoken word energy. I guess I'm Andrew's boyfriend now. I guess so. I guess I click. Yeah. You don't really have the zen or the look or the calm, but... Okay, the... my zen is coming along very well. Okay. And my look is Speak nearly there. Speak to us there. about the power. <laughs> That's isn't, so unfair isn't, of wait, him. Wait, isn't your friend in the power? Sorry, I actually went to school with someone from the power. Oh my God, go I on. actually went to school with someone oh, from the power. Oh, you said friend earlier, but now it's went to school. <gasps> no, sorry, we are, we're good friends. Oh, the truth we're good is friends, We're good friends, the and we live together, we live together for years. Is that somebody you made share a bed with? Shout out Riz Mitrovich. No, I, we didn't share a bed. We we had a flat together. Well, it was her dad's flat and we were both there. But like, still counts, right? Still counts. Um, <laughs> Did you I, have a sleepover one time at this girl's no, house? <laughs> two years of living on top of each other, living the freaking dream. And then we had Boys. a coffee just before I went to Australia. Um, so I watched The Power, hadn't read the book. Loved. Confession, confession. And I was like, let's give this a go. Oh my God, the concept of it. I was like, this yeah. is right. So if anyone who doesn't know, the idea is, is that women over time have evolved as you would for like, you know, natural survival instincts. And they've evolved a new muscle called the skin. And it's like in your chest cavity, just underneath your neck. And it creates an electrical current, which means that you can like jolt people who are trying to hurt you and you can physically harm people they're the physically stronger sex but it's only been given to younger women and they can decide whether to pass it on to older women or like someone who's like intersex that can like receive it and it's just so fascinating i think it's like it's like handmaid's tale level shit uh -huh. like the because i was like that does make sense like the idea that you have to like naturally su like survive you've got to find a way to protect yourself like you would be given this extra power Wait, hold on. I thought you were going to say that is an interesting like social con concept. That is an interesting No, I like, think it's going to like, happen. No, that's a logical progression of womanhood. <laughs> It is because because we're constantly evolving and adapting, right? Because we used to have more toes and we're like, we're not climbing trees as much. Might as well get rid of that toe, right? When did we have more toes? Oh, like, like the 1800s, 1700s. Back, 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 back. Like not, not like recent. A while ago. I'm tired. No, you're no, making but like, me tired. No, no, but you're like, making me you're giving me a headache. So you know how like you develop to be able you're to like survive me different a things. Headache. I genuinely think we're on the precipice of all women being able to shoot um lightning bolts out of their fingers. Okay. And I for one cannot bloody wait. Hello? What happened? What did I do wrong? It's such a good show. Ugh. And Tony Collette's in it. No, listen, <laughs> you I like believe, Tony Collette. Let me let me clarify. I think it sounds like a great show. So I good. will watch it. Your handle on reality and or indeed basic biology worries me. No, because we do, we develop new things, mm. right? You know evolution, A, this is impl implausible as a likely progression yeah. of womanhood, but even were it to, evolution occurs over like millions yes. of years. Yeah, but when was the last one? No, it doesn't happen. It's not like today's evolution day. <laughs> That's a shame because that'd be fucking sick. <laughs> that would be sick. If you just woke up one day and it was like, it's evolution day and we were all just there going like, oh, what will happened? we get? What will we get? I that imagine... would be exciting. Like evolutionary Christmas. Oh, so good. Wait, what do you think the next evolution will be? Because I honestly, hand on heart, I do think it'll be that we will just like, we won't be born with appendices. Any, uh, append appendices. Appendixes? Append appendi? I think appendices was pretty good. But more people Thank keep you. their appendix than appendix. But than I don't. think we'll just get to the point where we're like born without that. Is it gallbladder that we don't need? Is that one just banter as well? No, it's not just banter, no, you the gallbladder. Gall you yeah. do need it. When you get rid of it, it actually causes some problems. Okay, what's the other one that's just bants? There's another thing that's just, just banter. Just <laughs> like, you know, like appendix is um, just like, just bants. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm here, but you don't need me. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I'll figure honest. it out. But what do you think? Well, next... Sorry, when you think not yeah. not like through trial and error. Huh? Well, you said you'll figure it out. That won't be through trial and error, will it? What, like removing? Oh, I can't remove that. I'm not a surgeon. Andrew, oh, could you me. Google, um, <laughs> please, which organs are just for bants? I will Google Bants exactly are probably, because they might not recognise bants on Google. Oh, yeah. Yeah, point, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a bit colloquial. Yeah. <laughs> we want the full medical term, please. Oh, um, there is something else that people sorry. get removed. with Hernia? No, you grow those as well, don't you? Dear God. Um, which, which of these um, top results would you like to do? Okay. Um, five organs you should save from deer. Oh. From the meat eater dot com. Uh, the, a Facebook page called "Now This Is What I Call British Banter." Oh. Or a minute with Max Irons on the class divide, all male banter from oh, Reuters. Andrew, Max meant, Irons, please, Andrew, all male meant, banter. You were meant to translate it. Uh, so you want a minute with Max Irons on class divide, all male banter? No, Andrew, yes, no, 100%. No. Andrew, you were supposed to translate the Google search into <laughs> which organs do you not need? You weren't actually supposed to Google which organs are just for banter. <laughs> Bants. <laughs> No, you maybe not put. Has bands. she been away so long that you've forgotten There's that we got have to, to be something else that people get removed, and it's just like everyone's like, "What's you the point?" You can still live a fairly normal life without Thyroid. one of your lungs, a kidney, your spleen, appendix, spleen. gallbladder. Spleen is that the one? Spleen. A gallbladder. A gallbladder. I, I said gallbladder. Uh, I know, but I think. You, I think yeah, but you can live a normal life without it. That doesn't mean you know is there's no effect. Okay. Yeah. Also, I assume this list is like one of each, not like. So a lung, you can just lose a lung. One of them. I, I think mean, you'll have men spl- spleen. I do think that you were thinking of spleen. Also, I think you. It, quite dramatically affects yeah. your life if you lose a lung. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, and I'll keep them then. Oh, It'd can, be like if you're a smoker. You can lose oh, some of your oh, lymph no. nodes uh, and the fibula bones from each leg. <gasps> no! And six of your ribs you can get rid of. Six? Oh yeah, because Marilyn um, Manson did that so um, they could suck That's themselves off. True. It's true. He also allegedly it's... really abused Evan Rachel Wood so we don't like that No, guy. don't do that. That's Boo. wrong. Um, so, but, but basically, all I'm saying is a TV show is wonderful, and I can highly recommend it. Okay, wow, well, wow. Well, listen, lot going on for you these days. I'm watching a lot of stuff. Lot going I'm watching on a lot for of you stuff d- these days. I am. Um, <laughs> I'm basically a musical widow. That's what's happening for me. Explain what a musical widow is. I'm a musical widow. Ellen has been in rehearsal <laughs> okay, no, six days it. a week, <laughs> nine to nine. Yeah. Takes an hour and twenty minutes to get there. So make that. 8.30, 8 to, to so, 10. So your girlfriend's working. 8 to 10. <laughs> 8 to 10, six days a week, you cunt. 8 to 10, six days a week. And it's been going on for ages. I have no one to talk to during the day. Wait, six days a week? They rehearse yeah. all weekends? All day. Do they get God's day off? And then, no, sometimes. Thank God. And then, they don't get a bank holiday though. <gasps> and then, get this. She comes home and she says to me. Six. No. No, she comes home. No, she's exhausted. She comes home and says to me. Can you tell I've been home? I sound so Irish. She comes home and she says, they were talking about who the best chefs in the cast were. And so they were guessing and they came to the conclusion that it was either this guy's girlfriend oh my God. or Ellen's girlfriend. Because all I do now is I make her lunch. No, you don't. You pack her lunch of for her. Of course I do. She's so tired. <laughs> she's so tired. And she can't cook at the best of times, but she's exhausted. That's really cute. She's, she says that it, also, she might forget me otherwise. She's mm. around all these other... There's an older lesbian paranoid. called Catherine in the cast. I mean, come on. She sounds incredible. Yeah, and so, so I keep hearing she's got a great personality. But anyway, <laughs> so... She's gorgeous too. But I'm just floating around. No wonder I'm doing so much Pilates. I have nothing else to do. Wait, when you say you're making a lunchbox, because I have gone down that spiral on um, Instagram and TikTok before of just watching women pack up lunchboxes for their kids. Have you seen these bento boxes? And they like... There's one just like, making, husband, uh, my, making lunch for my husband again. And it's all a voiceover. And they write like a little note with it. And everything's themed so it matches. Like, today's theme um is um breakfast for lunch and they like make pancakes and like a cider no, syrup and like no it's no. honestly you have to level up no you must I actually no look my my view is this is that it's about bulk she's working and dancing all day oh you're not sitting here with just a bag, bag of bold like rice or something oh no, no i just mean like i make her like a tuna niswas or and some snacks and she likes like carrots oh my god Wait, I'm one of those define women. bulk define bulk because like you went about, for a salad and carrots it's about her having lots of uh, then I send, like nuts and fruit <gasps> nice. and crisps and a chocolate bar like a like, squirrel it's, like, yeah like she has a bit of everything a balance Oh my God, I am one of those women. And that's and no wonder those women go crazy with the lunches because that's the only way of having any 
And you're like, creative you're outlet. Day. Creative like, outlet. I don't see you. So I guess I have to like send all of my love in a lunchbox. Honestly, these lunchboxes look I'm amazing. So but I'm worried whether school has got different. Because like having like a weird lunchbox when we were at school yeah. was like, I, I had a different lunchbox and I felt weird for it. Mm. Like all I wanted was the regular bread sandwiches because that's what everyone else had. All I wanted was, you know, those stacked tin Indian ones with the silvery. <laughs> yeah, triple. you wanted those. Oh my God, when they arrive with a hot lunch. Please, yeah. please. I'm sick of this cold food. But yeah, listen, so that's my life now. What was your standard I'm a lunchbox lunch growing wife. up? Yeah, but you're <laughs> always going to be a lunchbox wife. I know, but it'd be nice if I saw the <laughs> husband occasionally. I want to make a lunchbox for Sunili. Oh, that'd be that'd really be sweet. So Can cute. I take my favourite lunchbox wife? Yeah, yeah, Just, my favourite lunchbox you're wife. You're going to love this. It's a, a couple called Mark and Tracy. Oh, Mark and Tracy. <laughs> Mark has cheese sandwiches, which are an entire 400 gram block of cheese no. in between two pieces of bread. Well, he's going to he die. He has two a day. He's going to die of a heart attack. Apparently, Tracy says he's fit as a fiddle. 400 grams is of Tracy, cheese twice. Yeah. Does Tracy twice, want yeah. him to die? Is, is the insurance good or on Mark or something? <laughs> Wait, 400 grams? That's insane. What is the average Almost block? a kilo of cheese every day just in his sandwiches. Fair yeah. play, Mark. No, not fair play, Mark. Mark's you going to You should see the videos. Attack. They're amazing. Sometimes she prepares like picky bits for him and it's like an entire meal. <laughs> it's like, oh, just picky bits. It's like a whole oh chicken. Oh, my God. A whole block I'm of cheese. so boring. <laughs> just I... a chicken to pick on living his dream. <laughs> but I can see how it happens to women. I'm suddenly saying things to Ellen like oh this week I did the grocery shop in Alty not Sainsbury's oh, no. I'm like I'm so boring anyway um, that's my life you now, don't so. do things like um, cut funny like pictures into the bread no, or like, like make stars out of the fruit I was, I was feeling fine about it but then she said me and this boyfriend's uh, this boy's girlfriend are known as the best chefs on the cast and now oh, I'm like no. am I competing with this other woman now you and are this is how you pit women against women look it's that's no, Catherine, life. you pit women against women. I do. You're in That's a competition. How I fit this other girl is fine. I'm sending Ellen in with a silver service now. <laughs> oh my god! But listen, I am. Um, I bet you never forget to add cutlery and napkins as well. Obviously not. Oh my god! <laughs> she went. She rang me the other day. I was in Belfast and she hadn't made her lunch. Yeah. She rang me. She said, "I've come to the park and I don't have a fork." And I thought. What am I? What am I? Well, you leave them on the side so they're ready to grab in the morning. No, my point is I was away, so she hadn't brought cutlery. I yeah. can't. Do you know what I mean? I made a packed lunch this morning. What happened to it, Catherine? Do you tell the story? I was proud of you for packing a lunch, I, but... My first time in years what actually did you make? packing a lunch. Um, two little bananas, an appy, um, which is what I say for apple. Yeah. Um, in, no in one a, was confused. In an old Vapiano takeaway box. Cute. Yeah, yes. the, 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 the diamond shaped one. Yep. And I wrap with hummus, a wrap with chicken, hummus, chicken. Um, rocket, nice. and sun dried tomatoes. Amazing, good Wrapped balance. in cling film because I didn't have anything else to yep. put it in, which I know is bad for you because of BPA. No, no, it's fine, but I will put make a mental note to buy you those waxing wraps. <gasps> yes, Emma them. Black. They're yeah, fantastic. oh, Emma Black, Black and Emma me. Black has a full set of them. Ellen uh, bought me mine, which they I guess get I washed just... very well Hang at the on, end of each Ellen use. Ellen bought one for me, and I'm just using it to make to, her to make her food. Wa- yeah, you're being oh, you're being. I'm being off. mugged <laughs> off. I am being. But I have my lunch at home, and I was so proud of myself packing it. You left it And I it put at it home. next to the kettle because I was like, I had a coffee and a tea before coming here. You left it. I know. And then I messaged Sunil, being like, "Can you put my sandwich in?" the fridge and save my fruit but I know it's not in the fridge I know he'll Damn put it in it. 10 seconds you before can I have it for home. dinner I won't be home tonight until like probably about 10 Did p.m. tomorrow for lunch it won't last I'll have it a second dinner second dinner fine a little healthy snack late night that's snacking fine. that's fine that's all a bloody one amazing yum, because yum, at yum. the moment I have to have a snack because I read a book as I fall asleep yeah well, that's listen. what I'm doing do you know what you could make shout out that to now. Sheena Patel I'm a fan do you know what you could New make um, to put in there what couple of medjool dates. Right, Put thank you so <laughs> much, Catherine. Let's have an amazing guest. I love him. We you all love him. live him. You love, love him. We all live him. We all love him. We all live him. We love him. We laugh him. wonderful Colin Holt. We could not make trusty hogs without you and we're so grateful to everyone who donates to our Patreon. If you wish to support us, if we bring you joy and nausea to your lives every Thursday, then please do at patreon.com forward slash trusty hogs. The first few levels cost as much as a coffee in London and your support genuinely is what keeps this podcast going. So for three pounds a month, you get early access and all of our vlog content for five pounds, which realistically is more like the price of a coffee in London. You get that plus an extra episode a week. So it's like four episodes as well as early. 
For 10, we add in our live show recordings. At 20, we are crediting you as a producer. We're sending you your own producer mug. At 50, we're sending you executive gifts every six months, your own personalized episodes. And let's be honest, Helen is trying to marry I'm going to give you a rim job at 50, baby. Yeah. If you can't afford any of that, we totally get it. We know the times are tough. So thank you so much for listening. And please, please tell your friends, coworkers, relatives, enemies, exes, and people on the bus about our silly, silly show. Give us a like, subscribe, share, everything like that. It means so much to us and makes so much of a difference as to how well this podcast runs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the podcast, Colin Holden! What the hell? You just shuddered. I said, are we ready? And you shuddered. You shuddered. Why did you shudder? Just... You're okay. I'm very... No, I, I, um, I think I, I, it's probably a bit late to say this, but I think I might be a little bit ill. What the hell? So I was so no, I no, should. no, no, don't. That's not why you shuddered. You didn't shudder because I you're should. ill. You shuddered because of the thought of doing this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah but don't fucking lie to us, Colin. Like, oh, it's just it's in terror. Do you no, think um, this is a frightening one to go on? No, 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 no. Um, why I can't I f- believe you just tried to sell that I as a shiver when it was definitely <laughs> a shudder. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! What's, what's what happening? I don't, no. ah, ah, this is terrifying. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think I've just been on the tube. I, I'm stop. I've turned into one of those people, an old weird man. I have to get like lifts everywhere on the tube. Are now. you joking? I've turned into one of those guys. I find why? out where the lifts are. I don't know. I think I really feel like you're deflecting and just are quite intimidated by our um, oh I'm very energy. intimidated by your energy <laughs> will this be good do I have what it takes this is fascinating is this, what it takes uh, am I have I still got it <laughs> turn up at this thing and you know, come know. out with anecdote after anecdote <laughs> hilarious quip I don't know I don't know but you maybe, are just naturally maybe not, hilarious I can, only, I can only do it being a character so <laughs> you can do do you know what it is I'm 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 being myself generally. And and How's I think I just all right. And then I did a whip, <laughs> a whip a in whip. Dulwich. <gasps> Gosh, it was horrible. Explain to the listeners, sorry, if they don't know what you mean. Oh, you... there won't be. They'll they all know who I am. <laughs> yeah. What? I know, oh no! What I, a whip is! I no, no, you no! I, I'm, who you are. Well, no, no, I no, think no, they know. No, I, I think, I think, think they're pretty I familiar. They're what I mean familiar. to say is that if you don't know, that Colin often for a long time played as Car- Anna Man, yes. a character, and now friend. you're performing as Colin Holt. Colin Holt. Who is this? Who is he? That, uh, who is you, he? Are you finding yourself asking that I'm question? I'm going on stage, going <laughs> <laughs> shuddering. <laughs> it's Would like, it? yeah, no, it is weird. It's we- much weirder than I thought it was going to be. Why? What's weird um, about it? I thought we were going to end it. I didn't think it, the show would do as well as it did. <laughs> Not that I was planning for failure, but I was sort but of... But you didn't expect I to get nominated for the Edinburgh I Comedy knew, Award. I knew, I knew I had something. I knew. I knew I had something, but I didn't... Uh, and, and, you know, it's not like... I was thinking about this. It's not like it's... It's not like so successful. It's not like I'm like... Do you know what I mean? It's not like on Netflix or anything. But You're in, the West End. Just any success destroyed me immediately. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do. It's weird. And then I sort of stopped doing her. Oh, I'm just in a weird place where I. But I'm, you could do like I'm, a. I'm fine. I, 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 I'm enjoying the stand up I'm yeah. doing this myself, and it's it's going all right. Until it's an this adjustment. In, in yeah, no one does. Is it tempting, though, to be like, as a, do a Hannah Gadsby and be like, did I say I was quitting? I meant. Very tempting. <laughs> I meant I was doing another show. <laughs> yes. Because I'm, I go, get well, it. I'm going for a trial today. For eight out of ten cats, should I say that? Yeah, you because can if say I don't get on it, that's bad. Yeah. No, we all do, do that. that. We We've all do done that. trials for it. I've done three. I've never been on it. Oh, yeah. Three and I've never done been booked. Two. Three. I assume you've both been on it. In all honesty, I haven't watched that much of it. I was just on Fine. the train going, fuck, I haven't watched it that much. And then I suddenly was like, Comedian. what's Comedians countdown? Comedians don't watch comedy shows. No, they don't, do they? But so I'm doing that as Anna, and I was going through what I was going to do, and I was like, Oh, this is really funny. I was like, she's yeah, funny. Really good. Maybe I'll just do this again. You know she's I mean? so yeah. funny. But I don't know. It's but the whole show was based around, and then also I'm developing a thing now. For well, you know, very early days. Yeah. So, you know, okay. very, please very be early quiet. days. Please be quiet. Then. Very early. Thank days. you. Yeah, so yeah. can everyone just shut the fuck up about it for a minute? Down. For one, one moment. second. Yeah. Breathe. I'm developing a Disney film. It's early <laughs> days, and Disney don't know about it. <laughs> but please, can we stop <laughs> asking? Please. A live action Anna Disney. Wait, no, 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 I'm developing oh, a Disney. Oh, you're Oh, my God, what the fuck has Anna is got really? to do with Disney? Yeah, Disney, Disney, very Disney early don't days. know about Whoa. Very early days. Okay, well, I, I've got a 
uh, treatment with hat trick. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost the same. She's fucking with Are you. Are you really developing? No, a she just said Disney. No. Disney. <laughs> Why would I not I'm say it though? Like, I totally we can, think you could be developing. But we're Disney living film. in a day and age where you have to manifest, right? You have to manifest. So to I'm just telling everyone, it's like walking up to people in the street, Although being I'm like, "I've got a Disney deal," and they're like, "Oh wow!" And I'm like, "Yeah." What Shakespeare's have twins in them? Oh, sorry, but just because you're theatrical. Probably much ado. Much ado. Much you did. Much you do, much you did. Much you, much you do again. Don't you even much think do, about much you it. Much you don't you either bother. Much you did, much you what not going to do. Oh. Shakespeare rap. Oh, wait. Oh. Shakespeare, Shakespeare had twins. Himself? What? Yeah, his children, oh, which was Hamlet and Judith. What, Elizabeth the first Hamlet, twins? Hamlet died. Hamlet died. And that's oh. what they think Hamlet is Oh, he did. From. So I've, I, I, know I, didn't, I should have read one sentence ahead. What a dark thing to bring up to us. Hamlet died very young. He was only 11. Probably the bubonic plague. In a Yay. Comedy of Errors has twins as well. Comedy of Errors. Twelfth Night has twins. Uh, who yeah. are the twins in Twelfth Night? Well, because they're lost at sea, aren't they? And then oh and yeah, then they land yes, on of course places. they are. Cool. And yeah. one of, he's being, she's being the brother. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Oh, guys, it's got all the Radio Four in here. I've seen it. I've uh, seen uh, that. Uh, <laughs> no, I just think it's wonderful uh, to talk Shakespeare uh, in here. I think uh, it's wonderful. I love, I love the bard. Shakespeare. I love the bard. Bill Shakes. <laughs> you see, it's hard to get rid of Anna because she talk about Bill Shakes. I love Anna. Five, 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 get rid of Anna, please. She's got 500 years he's been dead. Feels oh. like yesterday. <laughs> she never gets as good a laugh as I'd like. You mustn't lose it. Listen, I know that. I know a lot of Shakespeare stuff. I support As Anna. There's some gigs people like, oh, and there's some gigs you're like, oh, they're all doing the Shakespeare stuff and then people are just few angry. I do support you or in your... Or just like, shut up. Stop talking about Shakespeare. No, you I do support I support me. you in your separation from Anna but I Thank also you. need to say so that like kind. I love her and also that you are breaking... I, I don't know if you know this but Ellen, my girlfriend, is um, possibly the biggest... Not a big fan. She's a big fan. Of she, Anna? Oh, she went, to, Anna she went to see your show like three times in Edinburgh. I will... She took me good? and I... How many times I, did you go? At one point, I lent in and I said, ooh. She went to one I preview said, I said, once, <laughs> so two, I, five. You've never seen the final? No, I've seen the final oh once God. and I've seen the preview once. I lent in to Ellen and you went, imagine. she went three times. I lent in and went, I'm just going to take my, and she went, this was her third time. She went, shh. And I was like, oh my God. Excuse me? We were, it's like our third date. She's like, shh. I was like, um. Your third this, date was to see Anna Matt? Yeah. And what, downstairs like, of the courtyard in Edinburgh? Yeah. No. And she shushed me and I was like, this, she's seen her twice before. And I was just saying, I'm just going to take her and then I obviously had to like, both be alive. I wasn't sure if I was allowed to laugh. I'm, I'm, I was so stressed. I'm visibly moved. But I had a I gorgeous time. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm visibly she's moved. She's going to kill me for saying that. She, I mean, she's no, casual, wonderful. totally chill about it. But well, I, I thought I was the biggest Anna man. Yeah. So uh, I've been there quite a, a while. Lot of people. Uh, uh, but I've been here, I've been Brittany, around for a while. Big fans. Big fans. Wait, I think that's Ellen Ellen of Britney. Oh. <laughs> Feel that she's a super oh, and fan. I did you actually know do. that. I think Woo! I did know that. I think I did know that as well. Ellie's okay. already on to you. Brittany, a big fan. No, we know. <laughs> oh, okay. Now yeah. I'm less visibly moved. Because you already knew. Well, and also they're in the industry. I want a real person to be into it. Oh, my yeah. God. No, no, no. I'm um, really. Andrew's dad. Andrew's dad. Andrew's he was dad. rather fond, Huge yes. Yeah, my father is real. Because oh, we took, uh, me and Andrew, we were having a coffee together in Leicester, and I was like, I'm going to go see um, Colin Holt's work. But Andrew was like, amazing, I booked tickets for me and my dad to come with you. And I was like, so, you're going to fucking lose it. And I said to your dad, I was like, have you ever seen um, like Anna Man or anything before? And he was like, nope, no, nope, but I'm happy to go along. And he lost it. He loved it so oh, much. Wonderful. And there's something about like I feel taking like in someone this to see to something. To bring her back, aren't we? Oh, oh please, please. If we were doing a petition of well, two. If she gets an eight hundred, maybe we can yeah, do Anna and the Patreon extras. Yes. Oh. Question: How, What What are you finding about yourself on stage that's different to her? Wonderful. Well, so so I to to bulk it up because yeah. I haven't got that much yet. Yeah. I do throw in some Anna things. You right? have to, and it's interesting for me. Yeah. That it, so I have that line about when I was sitting on a bus in Nottingham and she says as a seven, as a seven year old girl I was actually yeah. only six but already very good at acting <laughs> yeah. that. so that, that's alright that's alright as me I say I was actually uh, as a seven year old boy I was yeah. a seven year old girl. so that's alright but then and then a woman behind me right and this happened in real life taps me on the shoulder and she goes I was reading the comic yeah right? yeah and in an Anna Man, she's reading Bunty. Yeah. Uh, Bunty, Judy, Jezebel. Yeah. You know, one, of the old, one of the old girls' mags. And then she gets oh, tapped on the shoulder. Her. I love her. But then uh, this woman goes, uh, think you're dead clever, don't you? Reading. Right? Which, and that really happened to me. But I was reading X-Men. Stop. And she's like, think you're dead clever, don't you? Reading. Like 
And I goes, uh, I goes, oh, I'm reading the comic. She goes, uh, educated. Like that, right? <gasps> like really angry. And I was about 12. So I wasn't actually Oh, seven. you're just little but, though. I mean, but still. Were yeah. you six? Were you seven? Were you 12? Yeah, Colin, who all, were you? Were you a remember. boy, a girl? Or you I like, may have imagined you the whole thing. <laughs> but, then, but then I go, and then as Anna, I go, mum, will you fuck off? Do you know what I mean? And that's the Very gag. Very funny. Which is, is a bit, I'm sure I've heard yeah, a million yeah, people yeah. do. I but, have them. Behave yourself. The, and, but, but yeah, as Colin, that bit about her tap so this is so fucking up my yeah, heart yeah. but that woman tapping me on the shoulder going uh, I think you're dead clever reading gets a really big laugh Yeah. as Anna doesn't at all and then as Colin the mum will you fuck off doesn't get a laugh at all and as Anna does That's and it's quite so I'm like oh my I god I actually have a theory I'm really on like it's gendered. freaked out by what's reality and it what's, might not be gendered because it's what because I'm attacking my real mum or no. I wonder I wonder if it's gendered I like it feels I thought I, that's what you were saying is, but I no, wonder no. if it's like Andrew's like, I have I a theory as well. Yeah, what's your theory, Helen? Yeah, My on, theory is I think theories. audiences can really feel when something rings true or not. And right. obviously, like playing around with an age is one thing because we don't remember things exact ages. So yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we have yeah, to yeah. pick an age or yeah, say yeah, that. Sure. But yeah. like, as far as like it happened to you as yeah. Colin, yeah. and this is something like they, you can feel in a crowd when something rings yeah. true. I used to think yeah. as comics we could tell for each other, but like yeah. there is a sense, in the same way when you so meet someone and they of... tell you something, you can you can get a feeling from them. It's frightening, yeah. I think that's why I'm mm. shuddering, because it's like a sudden responsibility of, oh I'm not saying these mm -hmm. words through a character, mm -hmm. through the filter of yeah. a, you know, and it's just a gag. Yeah. Because all the stuff that I've done as Anna, there's loads of stuff that is just jokes, mm -hmm. Yeah. but it's all real. Yeah, there's all real stuff in there. But it's really she's based on. And, people and then as soon as you're doing it, as yourself yeah. talking about, oh, it's freaking. But yeah. Yeah. It's freaking me out. welcome to I the know. vulnerable world yeah, of stand-up <laughs> comedy. Oh yeah, when they don't laugh, they don't like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they don't like. They do not like it. the act. They don't like you yeah, as a person. That's what I felt in Dulwich. I was like, yeah. And also, the show was 42 minutes. I never, as you you, you may know, if you've ever I've never seen I always do like so long. Wasn't your show in Mac like three hours long? Was that was that one? I wasn't even there. When I heard about that it. was that was um, a show I did called Character Horse, right? Which I sort of was myself, but being character, so it wasn't really the same. <laughs> but that one I got that. But what's bizarre? I'd done the show in Edinburgh, yeah. So it was finished, and oh, I'd done it right left. So funny. And then I turn up at Mac, like I guess the summer after. Yeah. And I was in a confused. I, to, I was doing something else. I was like, do the show, jump on the train, go film something else. Yeah. You know, something. You know, what it's mm. like. I you know, know. I know. It's I know. Like the industry. Think, really, like, yeah. And you have to give time to think. And the, the punches want to have photos with you when you're going in. You I want to, to give myself. Yeah, well you've time. got to have Kay's ring in. Oh, you're mad. <laughs> you must. <laughs> but I, yeah, did it. And then I went, I suddenly went, oh, God, uh, a whole hour's gone. And I'd done 20 minutes of the show. And I don't know what I was doing. It was like memento. I was like, what was I, was I just like dancing for like 20 minutes and didn't realise or something? <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. If you did 40 That's minutes of dance did. and didn't know, didn't we're know taking I you for a scan. Um, Heaven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Andrew, yeah. what's your theory? I really want to know. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just, I feel like that line from the woman on the bus yeah. in Anna yeah. where the whole world is fake. So I was thinking, what's the woman on the bus? Is that oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like the salt park. Virginia Woolf. <laughs> yeah, true. She couldn't get a room, so she got the a bus. Because <laughs> everything I guess in at the Anna's end of the day, is... I was just a woman. <laughs> on a bus. <laughs> dark. Dark. <laughs> Lights <laughs> down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so in Anna's world, everything's fake. So that's just a setup for Anna. But in Wow, that's quite a statement. Wow. You know, when it's oh, you, it's you know, when, when it's they you, know. it's a real thing. And so yeah. the absurdity of that sentence is yeah. hilarious because it's in the context of the real world. Yeah, interesting. Okay. There's a tr comedy. I got comedy. half of that. No, because it's like some of comedy is sorry, a my, truth no, exercise. Sorry, genuinely with the ADHD, my processing is very good. <laughs> like, oh, and also when, when you said like my eyes were going like that's because I'm like I don't know what she's just <laughs> been saying. Wait, I rewind. Know she's I was talking. listening while she was talking. I was thinking about something. Started very interesting. You've just made me more excited to <laughs> okay. see how we're going to solve listener okay. problems with you. Because okay. oh, if you cannot you. take in anything oh, and process it, no, prepare no, to really yeah. fuck up. Okay. Yeah, because these these gals and guys who send us in um. These people who send us in problems, yeah. mm -hmm. I'd say you're gonna have to focus in. Okay, so, I can, I can. Okay. I have a thing, you have a thing called hyperfocus. Great, well activate that now, as please. ADHD, and it, I guess it's when I'm on stage as Anna. Okay, for now. And I'm trying to find the hyperfocus as Colin at the minute. And that's why it's very like, Fascinating. Because I guess the other channels are, I was talking to Joel Morris. The other channel? No, who's Joel Morris? But he was talking about, uh, he's a writer. Okay, cool. You know the writer, Joel Morris. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Joel Morris, the writer? Yes. Everyone's yes. a writer. Time. Who can't pay attention to he, a sentence his now, Ellen? Joel Morris, he's a writer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he writes on, uh, he writes <laughs> Clunk and stuff. Or on that. No, Philomena Clunk? Clunk. Clunk, isn't it? Yeah, Philomena Clunk. Yeah. Um, what was I talking about? 
Joel Morris. Joel Morris. Oh, yeah, so it's like you've got all these channels open yeah. all the time, and some of them go back, you know, like on a mixing desk. I yeah. don't really understand a mixing I don't, desk, but yeah. I get the idea. See how you've I said yeah, the other? I was like, yeah, yeah music. Yeah. But you. you know you have to open all the channels, so you sort of can imagine yeah. that, sure. can't you? Because I don't, I don't understand. So it sounded very patronising, but I don't understand. No, no, truly, I don't but, know. As in, so this might be like, uh, you know, uh, Catherine's talking to me right now. Yeah. And then this might be, I've noticed something Andrew's doing. Yeah. Like in his phone, very rude. Uh, yeah, no, no, very he's rude. Up, very the right. He's always rude. But then you got to watch that kid be the thing you're doing later and then something might be something that happened when you were 10 that's still going on. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. something has made you think of that, the woman on the bus, whatever. And I think with the ADHD, it's, it's very hard to close the channels, basically. And do you feel like so now always... I actively try and go, hang on, I have to go, close that. Okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we dealt with that a long Sam sorted that bit. Wow, you're you like one know. of those ladies in, and the operators stressful. during the war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. What, oh, they, what do they call those those girls? You mean the, in the... the women in the phone? They're yeah. called telephones, aren't they? When they, they were called they, telephones. No, you can't call a woman a telephone. <laughs> no, no <laughs> you. <laughs> I swear they were like they were called telephones. Like at NASA, they called people that did the math computers. They were like oh really? Before. Oh, they Whoa. called them the telephone. They were called computers, and then like people Ooh. who did that were called telephones. So they pull that one. I think, I'm putting I you think. through now. I mean, they yeah. were they were uh, telephone operators. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that lady. I've got the the field marshal on the line. Exactly. <laughs> Well, it, it might actually be more respectful to call guys. them telephone um, because they're actually called Hello Girls. Which hello girls. Telephones it is! Yeah. <laughs> hello Girls! I'm an operator, but I think telephones is cuter. I'm a bit of a Hello Girl. You are? Yeah, you I are, think yeah. I have a Hello Girl energy. I'm a good bye bitch. Hello. I'm a bye bitch. <laughs> yeah, you are bye bitch. <laughs> Sayonara, I'm a Hello Girl. Sweetheart. You're a Sayonara, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be a good comic, Hello Girl and the Bye, and the bye Bitch. I hello love girl, that. Bye, bitch. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, girl and the Sayonara, Sayonara Sweetheart's also good. If you good. write yeah. it, I might read it. <gasps> That's really good. Oh, hello, if you girl, write it, I might read it. You would only, a lot of Joe Morris to catch up. You'd only maybe read Hello, hello. Girls and the Sayonara Sweetheart? I'd certainly... I mean, how much is it going for? <laughs> is it expensive? I'll give it to you for 10p. Okay, I will definitely okay. read it. Somebody... I definitely read it. But sometimes people give me things like that. And then I'm like, now I've got to read it. Yeah. A listener sent in an old copy <laughs> of Zeebo. We're probably one. both thinking about the same book yeah. right now. <laughs> Wait, we'll no. talk about it off part. <laughs> hey, no, you no, guys. No, no. I know the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close your channels. Yeah. Sorry. Problem, Andrew. Ching, 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 ching. Close your channels, girls. Okay. Hello. Operator is closed. Am I doing all right, by the way? You're doing fab. You're doing Great. fabulously. Oh, Am I doing okay? She's doing mm. Mm. <laughs> no, you're doing great. You're doing great, my bitch and my no, sweetheart. Okay. You, my bitch, my and, my bitch and my sweetheart. <laughs> That's very sweet. Okay, we've got a friendship um, problem. Hit me, uh, hit me. Oh, oh, boy. Yes. Uh, so this is from M. Solve yourself, M. That's what my first point is. Will you behave yourself? <laughs> Sorry, apologies. Just the letter? Mm -hmm. Yes, the letter. Yeah, we only do letters. Oh, great, okay. Yes. Hello, M. An M. Uh, anonymity. No, Am God. Anonymity. <laughs> um, that's a good character, anonymity. Anyway, never mind. Um, hi, got ideas all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, mate, I, I've been doing this a while. <laughs> I've got it. No, that is a good idea. That is a good idea. It's a bad um, idea. <laughs> Write it down. Write it down. No, don't. Write text, it down. text me later. <laughs> hi, Hogs. Hi. hi. First of all, I want to say I love the podcast. It's absolutely hilarious and it's been a great comfort during some very lonely times. That's just kind. Oh, that's that's nice. just kind. So we love to hear it. Uh, love which that. brings me to my problem. I'm really struggling to make and keep friends and it's beginning to make me feel rather down. Oh, Ooh. no. Yeah. Um, for a bit of background on me, I'm autistic, which automatically makes it a bit more difficult for me to make friends compared to mm -hmm. others. Uh -huh. And I had to drop out of college last year, um, which has isolated me quite a bit. Uh -huh. well, I had some friends from college, but recently I've realised they maybe aren't my friends due to organising a get-together for my birthday, which they all cancelled on the day before. Oh, no. No, that's, so yeah. oh, that's mean. Like. And the reason they gave was because it wasn't the kind of thing they wanted to do. They organised it? Um, no, I think... I, d I don't understand. M organized. M organized. I think M organized, M organized it, yeah. it. Still, whatever. A picnic in a beautiful public garden. <gasps> it's mm. a lovely day. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing. And she even baked a cake. Oh, that's oh, quite fun. And no yes. one came. They no all cancelled. Yeah, they all cancelled. On the day. Yeah. Okay, go Ooh, on. So, so this um, is, we're going in hard. Yeah. Mm. It was yeah. a, so this was a wake up call um, yeah. for M, who realised just how much um, that they lack meaningful friendships in their life. And mm. she wants to get out there and make some connections with people. Uh, I'd really appreciate some advice on how to make friends as a young adult and then how to actually keep them. Helen and Catherine's friendship always brings me so much joy and mm. I'd love to have something like that one day. Thank you for listening to my problem, M. Oh. Number one, that's so sweet that me and Catherine didn't find each other until our mid to late 20s, so it does take a bit of time. Yeah. Oh, no. I'll put that out there. That's <laughs> really... Well, you're like mid 40s now. I'm 47 and right. Catherine's 52. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
from the great thing. I thought that was funny, but you've got to say that she looks young. Not like that. I would just say it really quickly to Catherine. You're very young. I go to a man in Kensington. His name's Doctor Ewan, and you know I look young. Yeah, you do look very. young. I'm thirty-two. Youngish. Yeah. I'm thirty-five this year. Andrew's like, how old are you? I'm forty-four. You don't look 44 at all. You don't look 44. Mm-hmm. And now Good me? Job. I've stopped drinking. And now <laughs> me? Congratulations. Okay. And you don't look 44 either. Uh-huh. <laughs> you look 27. 27 or 26. 27, 26. 26. Only the younger, she thinks you're patronising. younger. No, no, she thinks you're patronising younger than that. 25? 26. 26. Does it say 26? 26. She likes 26. Anything younger is a bit... <laughs> Okay, you look You're not allowed to drink for the 24 hours after you get Botox. I went a whole day without wine. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. wow. Have you really had Botox? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, good for you. Yeah. No, Dr. You in Kensington. Have you truly. No. Oh, you must. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. It really kickstarts the really? sobriety. Yeah, you guys, yeah. we have to handle if Em's problem, but may I also say I anxious, oh, yeah. I anxiously picked off all of my shellac while oh. we Oh, oh my God. I didn't even notice you did that. That's not like you. Her problem made me sad. It made me sad. Em, I'm really sorry. Your friends, they're not your friends to start with. Put them in a fucking well and cover them up and never go and find them again. Yeah. I say that. Group murder, always an option. People forget that. What do I do with the shellac? You give it to little Helen. I'll put no, it in my it, pocket. It, that's right, I don't mind. I'll find it later on. I'll throw it on someone like confetti. Are you having gig. a nice time? Yeah, I'm having a nice time. Um, um, I'm thinking about this problem. I'm um, thinking, I mean, should I be honest? I mean, I think we should yeah. be honest. I think I'm so. Go on, sorry. No, no, no. You've okay, no, you know, you're, you're Helen, strong. Helen, you, your sister has Helen, autis- or is autistic. You know, my dad's mm-hmm. autistic. My sister's mm-hmm. autistic. Any advice? Um, uh, no, because Marianne's a f- my sister's a fucking cunt as well as hey being no, autistic. I like <laughs> she's it. so Whoa. cute. She's so cute. <laughs> she hates me, but I like it's her. Right. You um, can't, you know, oh, my sister hates. It's Catherine. not a get out of jail. Hates. Her. No, no, no. You can still be a dick for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Marianne's so funny. Catherine really so hates. Her. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Marianne hates me. I love oh, really? Marianne. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a. Catherine said to my sister, "Do you want a hug?" And she went, "No." <laughs> <laughs> We've spent the day together. Than you, Two years younger than me. She's younger, like right. nearly 30, but right. the way she just completely, she just she like turned like, to me halfway no. through a day of hanging out with Catherine and went, your friend needs to take the chill pill. <laughs> 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 no, I was like, yeah, she does. Oh. She really does. Savage. Um, yeah, it is. I do, I do think it is harder to form like, um, like interpersonal relationships with people because it's often... Mm-hmm. Things that you think are totally like a normal and nice way to go through the world, other people can sometimes misconstrue as rude. And instead of giving people the time to like talk about it and like learn that everyone functions in the world differently, people do sometimes cut you off. They're not people you want to be friends with. And I understand the desire to have that like close friendship group from when you're younger. But I am aware that I'm lucky I'm still friends with people I went to college with. But in general, like, they were friends from school. Like I didn't make a group at college. It took me so long when I moved to London when I was 18. I didn't go to university. Everyone else went and they made a group of friends. Well, a lot of them did. And I didn't have that. And it took me so long to find my ride or die people. Yeah. Which I'm now lucky being 32 that I have. Yeah, it's and not it's abnormal. so easy to think that you're the only person. A ride or Someone who like you could you would get up for and run to theirs at three in the morning. And they would do the same for you. Oh. Yeah. You know that person Sounds who's wonderful. like, oh, a straight men you. have to marry someone for that to happen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But women can just form those relationships um, healthily. Yeah. yeah. I've got Frances, who's an artist. I've got Gwyneth, who's a gorgeous little petite little thing. And then I've got my lesbian. And that's how I do it. Do you know what I mean? You're Catherine's a ride or die. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, wonderful. And is wonderful. she your oh, ride or die? Oh, she'll be over yeah. e- any time. Any oh, time of day or night. Yeah. But I, I, I do think you're right. I think it's important to stress that it is not unusual not to have those at your age. Them. Yeah. Like mm. I have one friend from school yeah. and she was already my friend from around the corner, Karen. Yeah. I have I love Karen. Like, you know, I have Georgie from during university times and Kate, mm-hmm. but like that took so long it and, does. and takes real care. Like you have to nourish those friendships, mm-hmm. you have to water them. And then I think um but 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 I think we need to circle back because one, I want to say I'm really sorry that that happened. That's mm. so fucking shit. Mm. Secondly, I think you need to where possible, figure out what you want and need from friends and how much of it you can give to yourself. If, if you can give any of it to yourself, then do that generously in the while you wait to find your people. Do you mean like doing fun things by yourself if there's no friend to go with, still go and have Absolutely. fun? Absolutely. Yeah. If it's like, I want to, you know, like you don't have to have friends to go play five a side. That's what clubs are for. You know, mm-hmm. like you can go and 
you can go and play with strangers. You can go and participate. You can still interact with people without them being your Absolutely. friends. I know. I've said this before. When I was 19, I went to the zoo by myself and I had a connection with a lion that is unmatched. <laughs> unmatched to this day. Yeah. I've I gone to the zoo with other people since I then, think M needs a team, same. though. Don't you think M could... you and the lion? Me and the lion. It's like we looked at each other oh, and we just got yeah, it. Yeah. We just fucking Don't got it. Don't you think it. M could really do with a team? Like a, a team, like a sport team, if possible. So I... Sort of teams like, are nice. Teams are quite reliable. I've never... I don't know if I've ever really had friends. <laughs> this That's is one a horrible second. thing. Sorry, no, we just M. We'll be right back to you. But I think no, no. Well, Colin, no. You, you am drama. I know I have. No, I, I think that's that's quite true yeah, for I'm men though. Yeah, I'm drama like friendship, isn't it? I'm drama's my sports team growing up. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Or choirs can be people's teams. But yeah. I don't you think for men? I think I making never had friends is really stuff. hard. Mm -hmm. Um, I did have no. I did have very close friendships. It's not that I've never had friends. I can never keep them. And often I've worked with friends and then we fall out but very badly. Or really? Or it just sort of drifts. Or, but also I have like, get like paranoid. Ah, but ADHD sort of stuff, is you know. often like. Really, ADHD is very hard to like. ADHD is quite out of sight, out of mind as well. Maintain friendship. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't there you a question? You sort of, um, yeah, and you go from friendship to friendship. Um, it's really hard. And yeah, there's a lot of, there's autism and ADHD in my family. Mm hmm. Um, and um, yeah, I find it, yeah, they, they'll sort of come and go. And then sometimes I'll like send a message to people. Mm -hmm. Oh, you will have my best friend. I loved you so much and I haven't yeah. seen you and blah, blah. And they'll be a bit like, do it, you know, two in the morning or whatever, you know. And it's, yeah. like, <laughs> and it's really hard, you know, yeah. like my yeah. friends from school who we still keep in touch, but I don't, I feel they don't have any, can they, not just because I've ended up doing this stuff, but mm -hmm. like, yeah, I don't. So I can I can understand where Em's coming from, and that yeah. pain. I had my birthday on Monday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! birthday. And it was, thank you. And I was determined to not do anything to end up in that sort of situation. Em has because so I don't often do anything. that to myself. Yeah. But I sort of ended up falling in between them. My, my poor wife ends up like kind of trying to get it right, and I'm like, it's all right, don't do anything. It's fine. Yeah, and then yeah, it's yeah. Like, well, we have to do something, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. otherwise, it's all. Do you know what I mean? So I'll often yeah. arrange like big things. But yeah. then they're always weirdly disappointing. Yeah, of course. But do you know what else I've come to realize? I'm <sighs> only, I'm only kind of happy when I'm performing. I'm only like can deal with groups mm -hmm. when I'm yeah. actually acting. And but that's because you've agreed on, on a social contract. You're talking. But my social not. contact is that. Is yeah. Contract is that. Yeah. Like I, I can't do the small talk and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably why I should it. Um, but anyway, I'm making about me. But I just. No, you're, no. But, but being look, honest about your relationships is helpful. I, think. I wrote and a song. And also, you shuddered. Went, uh, <laughs> also, you shuddered and then you did it. <laughs> I wrote a song. Wait, there's a song Which coming. I don't know if Catherine doesn't it, like it. I also Do you not like you, songs? No, no, no it's not that. It's just songs. that I want you to hear me when I say yeah, you, yeah. you shuddered and then you've done it. Yes. You shuddered because you were scared, but you, you've done it really well. I've done it. And I think M needs to, in a way, shudder and then push through that too. But we'll talk about yes, M in a second. Please sing your song and then we'll true. circle back to them. <clears throat> if I can remember it. Please. Oh, I don't know how it feels to have a friend. <laughs> No, I don't know how it feels to have a friend. <laughs> Someone to rely on, to guide and to defend. Oh, what the fuck was the net thing? Oh, uh, uh, Is it more depressing? It's get, it sounded louder and it's I'm getting the feels. Someone who will, da da, and will be there till the end. Oh, I don't know how it feels to have a friend. And then it goes from there. And it bigger, you know. I don't know how it feels. To love a flag. It gets <laughs> it gets, if we go into intonation, yeah. I have wow. lived my life inside a plastic bag. <laughs> Not sure what that bit means. Um, oh, are you like a bit of salami or something? Uh, possibly. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, a country or a nation or a party or a mass or just anything or anything that isn't strange or sad. <laughs> it's sad, isn't it, this song? Em, and then, I hope that will give you heart that people, some people are sadder than you. <laughs> But then Some I think at the are, end, and they're very successful people on television, actually. At the end, I, th <laughs> what I, was, I don't know if I ever did it live. <laughs> I don't know if I ever did it live, but I sing these songs to my all the time. They, you know, other songs, yeah. that, like, and then I go, oh, I should do that one day, and then forget about it. But then someone came, I can't remember if it was a puppet or something. Yeah. Then came on and was like, well, come on, friend, I'll be a friend to you. Do you know what I mean? It was like this, like Avenue Q, so you like think, this kind of, yeah. So but M I never quite got it right. So you think M should get into puppetry? Uh, that's really hurt my throat. Um, um, I, I know some ventriloquists, well, and that's even more lonely. So no, don't. Do that. Okay, okay. I'm saying oh that. my god, I've got. Um, sorry, I've got a conclusion yeah. to this now. I've just figured it out. Okay, okay what's your um, advice? We actually we didn't get Colin's actual advice. Uh, I think a puppet's not a bad idea, right? Without <laughs> and, going into this. And we're no, saying, no, we're see me out. I'm not being dead. facetious. <laughs> I'm not being facetious. Hear me out. I I don't want to say because it's personal within family and stuff. Someone in my family has a puppet yeah. that has become 
uh, a buddy, a, a, and a way of expressing and stuff like that, <laughs> okay. and has become so. And it's a thing we probably need to work on. But it's like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? There is something in having, whether it's an ama- Do you know what this is? A, a diary mad thing to say, can be this. And a man for a while was yeah. sort of that to me, genuinely. Yeah. Like the show. Yeah. yeah. Bit of a spoiler, but we've finished now. The show ends with her sort of, you know, saying Colin can be Colin now, kind yeah. of thing, and mm. leaving me. Mm. And it, it, and I think that's why. I've, Subsequently, had a bit of a breakdown. But, yeah, but you've it, had like, a breakdown. Really, it really was a kind of, uh, yeah, you know. So I'm, I think, yes, I'm not suggesting don't M doesn't have friends, mm-hmm. but also have find that the the heroic thing yeah. inside you that e- whatever these arseholes do, and they do sound like arseholes, you you have that that trusty hog, that I, uh, your trusty or hog puppet, is out there, or whatever. Your yeah. friends, they might even be listening to this, listening to this problem, yeah. going like. Fucking hell, that's me. Where are my oh, people? Oh. Yeah. Like, uh, one of my close friends, her little sister is like, I want to have what you have. And it's just yeah. sort of like, it took so long. Like, it's yeah. not easy, yeah, but like, yeah. not to like simplify everything into Toy Story, mm. but like, look at Woody and Buzz. Like, mm. we meet Woody, he's been Andy's toy for years. He doesn't really have a ride or die. Buzz arrives, he's not even sure that at odds with each other. I don't think Buzz goes to the picnic. And then all of a sudden, we're on Toy Story 4 and Woody and Buzz are best friends. Yeah. And I think, kill them with kindness. You never, people do particularly like not to be that person. It's like, I'm 32 people. You're at college, right? People change so significantly. They if, do. If also, if we could go back to the bard for a moment. Please. Dear Bill Shakes, um, The Taming of the Shrew. I the mean, taming of the shrew. They literally hate each other at odds and they end up happily married. I think what you're So both... sometimes the person you, sometimes... Give people another chance. I think what you're both (laughs) saying saying? is really good advice. And get a puppet. But I think what both of you are saying about people, which is that if you want to make friends, often you have to remember that that is going to take a lot of time and it starts slowly. Mm. You can't just assume because you've met somebody and you like them that they will want to be your friend or have time or or know you well enough to be. So just give them time for it to grow. And I genuinely, genuinely think a version of a team, whether that be amdram a local choir an actual football team rugby team frisbee team whatever is in your area aa group are doing a, group. a podcast yeah that can be a way but what Some... how dare you um no no but you know but, yeah, but, i hated catherine exactly. and she was like we have to do a podcast but together I think and it, i grew to like her. i think a team is good because usually you have set days where you will mm. definitely see people and mm-hmm. you get out of the house and even oh, if those yeah, friendships yeah. are slow to build the team is a solid base and i think that it sounds like you could really do that with that and i also wonder that's really nice catherine actually one last thing i would ask is if you are finding that autism is a barrier to making friends, I wonder if there's a space in your community where there are other autistic people you could meet up with. Because yeah. I imagine they'd probably better than anyone be able to relate to your situation. There is a, yeah. I mean, there's ADHD ones for sure in yeah. where I live, and so I imagine there's an autism. Yeah, definitely. Oh, 100 percent. When I went, when I went to the ADHD one, it was just like. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> just like, well, Please, because like, I've got an image in my head of what it's like. Everyone was, everyone was like, like, I fucking knew it. I wasn't going to say it though. I wasn't going to say it. I, like, I was there like, oh God, I'm late. I'm no, shocked no, the meeting like, happened. Oh, God, yeah. oh, God, who organized the meeting? Uh, well, these two guys who are lovely, but like, <laughs> they're quite, they're, I guess, in their 50s and they're quite, they sort of talk over each other when they're trying to like <laughs> tell you something and all this stuff. And I, I met one guy, right? So you meant so to me, funny. I've only been once as well. It was months ago. I was like, that was great. I'm going to go everywhere. I've never been again. Um, but immediately got on started chatting to this guy he did not stop talking for the whole time yep. but it was great I, I was like just he, he, you know what yeah, I mean yeah. I was completely yeah. like yep, yeah. yep 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 keep yeah. going yeah. and he was like blah, 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 you know and just telling me all this stuff and all these things you know yeah. um, and it was wonderful it really yeah. was like and do you know what it was just those moments where I was sat in the pub because then you went to the pub afterwards this is the best thing got to the pub uh, oh we've, we've we've got a table book for ADHD aware mm. uh, no, no one's booked that table. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, no, they said they definitely booked it. Like, and I knew that and I didn't say it. And I think that's growth from me. Yeah, yeah. Not to be like, that must have been a fucking I'll disaster. I'll you anything. Yeah. There was an OCD group being like, <laughs> yeah. we booked four tables. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine with the OCD group, table by the window. They've got a balcony mm. section. <laughs> Sorry, this this entirely symmetrical square is ours. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, that's crazy. Yeah. Don't touch the chair. Don't touch the chair. Do not touch the chair. <laughs> Have a nice um, day. So I think what we've oh learned God. from that is, uh, yes, you're autistic, but do not go to ADHD group. It sounds like it'll be a very stressful situation for you with yeah. a lot of things that are planned that you can't group, see coming. Though. But yes, yeah, it's worth seeking that out. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and also with the birthday thing, what's the answer to that? I still don't know. I'm oh, just on my people 44. are cunt. You're going to have a lot of bad birthdays in your life. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, they're yeah. stressful, they're tricky, yeah. they're also, awkward. Also, I've had, I mean, I'm not trying to belittle your opinion anyway. I'm just saying, like, I've had disappointing birthdays surrounded by friends. Mm. I Last year, you you looked at me and you just listen, thought, just it was it. weird. Yeah. Um, but mm. I would say just like. You if, hated your nails? Oh God, it was a nightmare having a manicure. No, but my point is this, is that like, if I didn't have somebody to hang out with, I probably would have taken myself to get my nails done because that's something I love. And so next year, or even this week, fucking have a do-over of your birthday. Do something you want yes, to do. Yes, that's a good idea. That, that yeah. no one gets to point to <gasps> you about. It's Let's just like, go and get your nails oh, done. Person or whatever the your last thing is. wish might still be playing in some cinemas it's great, and it's incredible. Are you joking? Oh no, no, because I had it, it, really it came good. up in a couple of generals. People go like, because I obviously like, I love Disney animation, blah, blah, blah. But sure. it's like stream works. I know that. But um, everyone's like, the writing on it is Penguins incredible. of Madagascar level, which is incredible. My oh, son it's so was scary. Absolutely yeah, terrifying. it's a frightening wolf. film. Oh my God. What oh, age is he? The wolf Hi is dead. Blah. What age is he? It was, I think it was very, don't say the wolf is dead. What age is your kid? Uh, 22. Six, six. <laughs> um, but there's, it was very Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Yes. That feel. Okay, so there's a new birthday idea. Get your nails done and go see that. And Puss then, and Boots, the Puss last wish. And then Google yes. teams, like team sports in my area or choirs in my area or autism groups Stop in my area. Stop set. No, Amdram, really do the bard. I did I did in the Summer Night's Dream aged 18, 19. Would you dare say... Because there's a power in community, guys. There's a power in community. I played Helena. Is to say Shakespeare's the only friend you ever need? Shakespeare's the only friend I've ever had. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I agree. Well, better to luck, To be Anne. or not to be. That, helps, that is the question. And we Good thought luck, there Anne. would be... The, yeah. Um, is that how it goes? Whether it is... It is nobler in the mind to suffer, to, the, slings to suffer the slings and arrows. Um, if you of, want Ham to... um, of Hamlet. Of, of Hamlet. I've been Hamlet. Hamlet. Good night. Uh, <laughs> I've been Hamlet. You've been fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Colin Hall. <laughs> Oh. Two things. M, let us know how you get on. We'd love to have an update Did in a couple of months. Good job? Yeah. Two, Colin Holt. Yes. You're on the road. You're yep. trying to figure out yourself. Yeah. You're trying to figure out your act. Where can people come I feel and like see I you? Got to what the, can we promote? The podcast bit yet. Oh, no. so you've done it. Oh no, it's over. <laughs> We're ending. Really where, well. where can people find you? <laughs> what should they come see? Well, where should they, um, what should they check out? Where can well, they find you online? I, I, I um I have a website now, but I haven't put you anything have a on website. it. <laughs> It could be. A few, it's been century? a few months. It's been a few months. Well, where? Well, where can they see? Well, there is an Instagram? Animan podcast. The Animan podcast is out there. Great. I have another podcast. Another podcast with a friend called Epic Things, yes. which I haven't. Again, we haven't done anything for a while, but it's fun, and I'm going to be doing some more soon. Do you have any I'm, Instagram or TikTok or Twitter? I'm on Instagram, Colin Holt Comedy. That I sounds right. For you, if you want. A I'm on Twitter, Colin Holt, but I don't. I, the socials are very scary to me. But someone described them the other day as smelly socials. Years time. <laughs> smelly. No. I thought that was quite a good thing. But uh, watch Black Ops. You? I'm on Black Ops at the minute. Black That's Ops. great fun. Great, great, great. And you can come see me. I'm doing a whip, a whip, a whip. Another, so you can see this Colin Holt thing. Yeah. See what it's transformed into this yes. time at um, Wells. Fabulous. At the end of May. Yes. And then loads of other places. Bill Murray, I'm popping up. Roundhouse. Can I make a All suggestion for Wells that you're yeah. definitely going to forget in five minutes? I'm not going to be there. <laughs> There's a shop called the Flap Jacket. <gasps> this is the sort of thing oh, I will remember. Okay. Okay. It's fabulous. It's the best. Catherine's it's obsessed fabulous. with it. It's fabulous. We're all obsessed with it. They've now branched out. They've got one in like the South One in Bath. It's just Flap Jacks. The most incredible flavours. Yeah. I cannot recommend it enough. There's a brownie one. Does someone oh. go, welcome to Flapjack. Welcome to the Flapjackery. You the man will. With the top hat. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be enough. You will. All your Flapjack dreams come true. <laughs> You'll love that, I promise. Thank okay, you we'll so go. much, Colin Hall. Thank Holt. you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. It's been lovely. Thank you so much to our executive producers and our producers that allow us to keep making the show and making it everything we ever dreamed it could be. So first of all, to our exec producers, you know who they are, say them with me. It's the wonderful Guy Goodman, Simon Moores, Mary Fox, Annie Tonner, Sarah Hake Deacon, Oliver Jago and Stuart Kerr. Thank you so much. Thank you also to our producers, Richard Bicknell, Elle Richard Bold, Neil Redmond, Victoria Hutchison, Emma Walton, Harold Van Dyke. Tim and Dom, David Walker, Rachel R, Anthony Conway, Sadie Cashmore, Claire Owen, Jones, Jess and Nick, Zoe, Sarah and Molly, Rhea Fink, Cordelia, Rachel Page, Helen A, Tina Lindsay, Graham Marsh, Amy O'Reardon, Abby Worf, Ka- Key, Kai Webb, Kai Webb, Kai Webb, Matt Sims, Key Webb, I think it's Key, yeah. damn it, Key, Key Webb, 
Matt Sims, Luke Bright, Leah, Kate Spencer, May Williams, Tristan, Liz, Forge, Taz, Chloe, Becky Fox, Amy, Emily, Emily G. G. Oh my, damn it. So many new producers. Thank you so, Thank so you much. So we much. could not keep it going at the minute, especially with all the new camera equipment we've had to buy. Thank you so much for supporting us. If you can support us on Patreon, thank you so much. If you can't, that's fine. You're still part of this. Enjoy the podcast. We love you and we'll talk to you next Leave week. Leave us a review.